What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video of Dragon's Universe Lost Dragon Ball. Now you guys already probably saw this update, but they did drop Vados. So I'm going to go and check out some of the abilities right now. Now Vados is a defensive type character. Some weird links right there you saw with Android 18. But um, yeah, so a lot of HP links. Basically has the white tiger soul, so we're going to be getting a lot of uh, anger points back when damaged. Now you see the passive skill on screen. I'm not going to read word for word. You guys can obviously see that in your own game. But basically she's going to be creating a shield and she gets 50% of ma her max HP as that shield. Now they could have worded it a little better. They go back and forth between saying like when the shield is active, when it's not active. Uh, so it's a little confusing at first, but um, honestly she's basically going to be tanking a lot more with the shield. And then when the shield breaks off she becomes like an offensive type unit. So I definitely would throw her in the front row though. Just to make sure you're you're getting that um, damage reduction and the shields are being created for you and another ally also. So honestly, pretty crazy unit. We're going to go into the ultimate pretty soon. Obviously, being APT15 gets the uh, HP and attack bonus. Now, uh, right there, our attack and defense can stack by, uh, it says, for two rounds uh, up to 20%. So that could stack, so potentially 40%. And that's not even counting the rest of her abilities that increase her attack and defense. So I can definitely see Vados being a pretty nice unit. Uh, I don't know if I missed it or not, but I believe it said attacks in the column. Now this does around, this ultimate attack does around like 300% damage. So pretty insane. Now for this skill attack right here, it reduces an enemy's anger points by 200. So not only is she increasing attack and defense and also creating shields uh, for allies, also reducing anger points. So again, making it even harder to take out Vados. So they are getting pretty crazy with the units coming out in the game. So if you're able to get her, I definitely would. Would definitely want to see what Vados and Whis would be together, um, just because they're so versatile. They have that defense and offensive characteristics, so definitely is interesting to see what characters they have left to make in the game. Now we're gonna go into this uh, space tower right here. Don't know if we're gonna be able to take it out. I have been just grinding, honestly, just farming up and rushing any of the previous stages that we've done. That way, we're making sure we're still trying to get those new runes. And I have been uh, taking the time to equip them to the Jirin, Gade Zimasu, especially Broly. Broly's set is actually coming along really well. Almost all purple runes. Again, not upgraded. I'm going to save those for when we uh, get the orange and red tier runes because those are way uh, more worth it as they're more expensive as well. Now going into the Elite Story, just farming up more of the... You know, Golden Cooler, Champa, just trying to get um, characters that we don't have. That way we have all the links for future characters that we do want to use, if that makes sense. And uh, it is good to have all the characters, because why not? You get um, some goals completed along the way, too. Here is the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He's coming quite a long way. I remember maybe like 5 to 10 videos back, he was just at like Orange 1. So now he's at Orange 3, so he's progressing a lot. Now we're going to jump to the cross server arena. I do want to showcase one fight. We are in we are in Diamond 1, which is really good. We haven't been up here in a while, so we are going to fight for Diamond 2. We might be able to take it right here with this fight. Now we do have my more priority, so that is a really good. Now also guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. It definitely helps out the channel. Like I said in previous uh, episodes, I know I have been posting less. It's because of my new job, so I'm just trying to find a balance with everything. I'm making sure that the content is still good. I don't want my content, uh, you know, I don't want to post a lot more, but have the content go down. So I'd rather have higher quality videos, um, even if it's me only posting once or twice or three times a week. So I hope you'll do all understand. I wish I could make a lot more videos for you guys, but I'm just, uh, you know, trying to pick a career that I want to uh, really focus on and go from there. Because, you know, as you guys know, I recently graduated from college last year so definitely experimenting with the kind of jobs and the field I want to go in uh, but yeah that's uh, enough about that now this fight is going pretty well right now it's about even each of us have like half health uh, but he is gonna probably take out a decent amount of our characters right here but honestly I think our first team did what it had to do I know our second team is a lot stronger and also all of them have runes on our second team so honestly, I'm not too worried right now. We can easily knock out their team when we come in. Uh, they don't really have any SSS characters. They have Hit and also the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. But we sh it shouldn't be too hard to handle them. 
Honestly, uh, they just like do a lot of damage, but um, they don't look like they're that much upgraded. So let's see what happens right now. We're gonna have, uh, well, actually we're not. We're gonna have the assist deploy, which kind of backfires because now they're gonna get another heal off with the Bulma assist and then any other, uh, you know, any other runes or any other abilities they have to gain back health. So it's kind of bad that that um, deploy did happen. But it's all right, he's gonna get taken out right now and our second team will come in. So now this is the bread and butter of our team right here. You saw right there, Gatezimasu has the deadly when that rune popped up. Basically, he's going to be dealing additional damage to units that have higher than 65% HP. So that's really good. As you did know, as you guys know from the last episode, we did get his Divine Domain up. So he's going to be doing even more damage. I just really can't wait until we can get Goku Black Rose. And then even more shards of ABT15 characters. i honestly been waiting for an exchange event of Gatei Zumasu. They haven't done it in a while. Uh, I don't know when they're going to bring it back, but um, I'm kind of interested because now I want to spend all the dragon stones I have in trying to get that Gathi Zumasu up. Now his trunks right here did a lot of damage, so definitely don't discredit, you know, S characters or SS characters. If they're upgraded 7 star, Divine Domain maxed out, they're going to be dealing a lot of damage. I was actually really surprised his trunks was able to do that much damage. While we have these runes active to like give a defensive uh, defensive reduction boost. So um, again, don't discredit it. Yeah, being free to play, you might have a little bit more of a setback. Being you don't have access to as many higher quality characters. But still, if you focus on what you have. And that even goes toward life. If you just focus on what you have and maximize the things that you do have and can control. Life's going to be a lot easier. The game's going to be a lot easier. So uh, yeah, just that little tip right there. We did get a lot of stuns, which was really helpful, especially on that trunks. But um, we do have the Coomber being able to attack and he does take out our Jirin. But I'm still, again, not too worried. We have got the Zamasa doing his ultimate right here. He should be doing a lot of damage. So yeah, minimum, minimum, like 120K. So really happy about that. This should just be cleanup. Um, now those that do have Coomber, he, Coomber, he does have a huge attack stat. So that Coomber is pretty uh, broken. Now, um, I still don't know what people are talking about with Gatei Zamasu being nerfed. I don't know what exactly was nerfed way back when he did come out. But I do think that was a reason why people weren't using uh, Gatei Zamasu anymore. But I still feel like he's still a great character to have, AoE, etc. Now right here we did get this Divine Domain 5 or Destruction's God Blessing uh, maxed out for the Jiren, which is really nice. So he's going to get an extra 10% stat bonus. And then, yeah, that's uh, what we can do there once we get his abilities up. Uh, I do want to take off the uh, moves on Jirin. Uh, moves off of Gothic Zamasu, I should say, and put them on the Jirin. He does need to have minimum all orange moves. And also leveled up high enough. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then uh, I'll jump back to this cut right here. So now we did finally equip him. Just finally putting on the last um, red or orange move right here. And we should have enough of the requirements where we can open up the sixth divine domain. Now it is going to be a massive grind in order to upgrade um, that divine domain and also upgrade the seventh. If you don't know, this is the sixth right here. We have all the requirements, so I'll jump into this fight. But for the seventh divine domain, we're going to have to get his awakening gear um, or the gear level of his gear to 25 stars, if that makes sense. So that is going to be a massive grind. That's like pretty much almost all of his gear to five star. So um, it's going to be take a, it's basically going to take a long time to get Jirin to the seventh divine domain. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to focus on instead of getting shards of him, I'm going to focus on getting shards of his weapon. That way we can upgrade his um, enhance his attack for his ultimate attack um, and star that up more. So that's basically my game plan going into it. So, uh, yeah, we do get the win there. We do unlock the 6th Divine Domain. So it's called Angel's Blessing. That's pretty much going to enhance us to, once we max this out, to get the Mega Crush that will uh, absorb 70% defense. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this video of Dragon's Universe Lost Dragon Ball. I really do hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'm out. Later.